Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at a collection of AI experiments that Google has made available online. So I'll link in the website down below and uh, I have currently opened it up on my phone and we'll take a look at different AI experiments. The first one is Giorgio Cam. Now this AI, it detects images uh, that you click on your phone and then uh, on the go creates a rap about them. So let's go ahead and take a look on how it works. Ready to rock image recognition with me. Take a picture and they'll tell you what I see. Here, here, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Working on it. I think electronics is what we've got. Da, 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 da. Could be gadget, but maybe not. Da, 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 da. Okay, what else? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm on it. Alright. Is that display device I see? See, see, see. Looks like light to me. Me, me, me. Turn it on. Oh, all right. I'm on it. All right. That watch on my screen. I think then is what it see. So all right, as we saw, it did create a sick rap, but at times it was on point and there were times that it didn't get anything at all. Uh, I mean, it got it completely wrong. So some for something that it was saying a compact disc was ac actually just a badge. But most of the times it is pretty accurate and it does give you a confidence rating of uh, how much it thinks how much uh, accurate uh, the AI is and uh, well really interesting and entertaining uh, artificial intelligence uh, experiment there so let's go ahead to our next one which is called quick draw so it will give you a timer and you have to draw a specific thing within that timer and then it will try to guess that stuff so um, you mostly uses handwriting recognition and stuff like that to recognize doodles so let's start and the first thing we've got a piano so let's see if i can get close to that i see line oh i know it's piano okay so the ai got the first. i see bench or square or pillow or bread i see microwave or envelope Oh, I know. It's jail. I see line. I see fork. Oh, I know. It's paintbrush. I see leg. Or line. Or broom. Oh, I know. It's hockey stick. I see leg. Or golf club. Or square. Or door. Or bed. I see suitcase. Or washing machine or book I see fireplace oh I know it's map I see nose or golf club oh I know it's sock so yes it did get all of them right and 
and I didn't draw anything that I I think even a human would say what it actually is. So something like the uh, jail or the piano wall, like just a few lines. That's it. And for other things like a paintbrush, which uh, according to me looked more like a pen, maybe. And then the sock was just like a pitcher plant or a snail or some sea anemone, but not really look that close to a sock. So, anyways, yes, this is a pretty uh, accurate AI. And the last one we are going to try is called the Infinite Drum Machine. Now, this is a huge collection of beats, and that is actually from the everyday world so you can see we get this user interface here and we can actually pinch to zoom and we'll get uh, more beats around that area so so as you can hear i can actually move around uh, the the different um let's say pointers and they will point to different everyday sounds now these sounds are not made for drumming but the ai will arrange them in the order that they are so whoops so what i'll do is So let's play a drum consisting of back coins, case camera, animal lion and auto Ford model A and let's see how that sounds. And you can also change them uh, while it's playing. Yeah, so that was it, a drum made out of everyday uh, sounds and it's a huge collection of sounds so you will never uh, run out of them and it's always being added so it is actually a unlimited or infinite drum. So as you can see they do have a small collection here. Uh, it seems small because I am zoomed out but once you are actually zoomed in there are so many sounds that you can select from and then create your own um, drum so that's about it for this one and let's uh, I'll just go through all the other AI experiments and what they are I cannot uh, I might not be able to run them directly on my device but uh, Let's take a look anyways. So the Think Translator works using Google Translate and image detection. And what it does is when you click a photo, it will translate it that object's name to uh, another language. And the second one, the bird sounds is actually a collection of uh, bird co call sounds. And they are arranged in, in a way that nearby bird sounds are very similar and that's what the ai is doing it's arranging in a way where all the bird sounds are super similar and you know uh, you cannot differentiate it but they are giving you in a way where you can see what different bird sounds are now the ai do it is a game and i don't think you can directly play it but you need to have some kind of uh, midi device uh, connected to play with that 
and the visualizing high dimensional space is just a visual representation of how the AI is uh, working or recognizing and connecting more importantly different things that it sees or you know has the data for and how it's creating an internal map uh, within its brain so uh, that's about it thank you so much for watching make sure to go ahead and visit the ai experiments website i will leave a link down in the description thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one